for me to get my story across to you. Dear Depression, we go way back, to the point where I cannot remember the first time I met you. You persevered to become my friend, and lo and behold you succeeded. I was 12 years old, bootleg jeans and mini handbags, left with those I called family. You revealed yourself more in the following weeks as my cousin would grope my thigh and fill me up whenever he had the chance. It was in those moments I understood the word ugly. And again you returned when I discovered I was to stay there longer. My sadness felt never ending and I begged you to leave me alone, but you would not leave. You became my childhood friend, my only friend, the midnight voices in my head, and loving you got me sick for I fell in love with a silver-tongued devil that left scarlet kisses on my body. You convinced me no man would ever love me, and I believed you. I allowed myself to become a pit stop for men that needed a place to rest. When I started writing, I smeared my blood on every page to remind myself that everything beautiful has a consequence. But for a moment you were wrong, for I was loved entirely by one too good for you. He didn't care for my scars and silenced the voices. You got jealous. You led me to believe I had control again, that I could be happy, and for a while we were, but you returned with a vengeance. And like a hurricane destroyed every ounce of happiness I had. You convinced me it was all fake. It was all a lie. He never really loved me, and I was a fool to believe in forever and a day, for I will always be a woman of wounds. And just like that, you had me back in your grasp. Go deeper, you'd say. Jump, you'd say. Find the nearest ledge and simply let go. Allowing you to drown me in your sorrow and loneliness, gasping for air, my thoughts, your thoughts, became like family. Fussing over the, all the wrong I had done, the pretty I shall never be and the love I will never possess. But you are a sickness and sickness can lie. For everything I know of sadness I learned from you. For I am afraid to die and I stare you, depression, in the face and tell you, you cannot have me. I dare myself to run, screaming with arms wide open to joy. You cannot have me. I am not my past. I am worthy of love and I am forgiving myself for not being strong enough to believe in myself. I the number of men I let crawl into my body, but I'd rather tell you that I am letting go. Of the hurt, the lies, and most importantly, the past. I am letting failure go. I am letting loneliness go. I will not give up in this fight and you will not silence me. And to the boy I loved oh so dearly, you are a beautiful sunrise after a stormy night. You are the refreshing drops of rain after a drought. You are the brilliant bright light at the end of the tunnel. When I tell you that loving you made me forget how much I hated myself, I was not joking. Loving you was taking all the love I could never give myself and putting it to good use. It was a reminder that if someone could kiss the scars and wake up smiling next to me, then I can try to breathe again. Your love was the guardrail on the edge, the drawers that hid all the sharp objects. But love did not heal me. It did not wipe my slate of a body clean, for I will always have these scars and melted skin. But love held my hand, taught me a joke that I stayed alive long enough to laugh at. I loved you enough to want to love me too. Sincerely,